What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a post notification shout out at the end of today's video. So guys, I am very energetic and that is because we are yet pulling again another prank on Janice. I told you guys last video that I was gonna start unleashing a clip on her because of all the pranks she's been doing on me. And on Team Isaiah, we're not accepting that. So now we come in with the heat. As you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail of the video, your boy is basically gonna be calling his girlfriend from jail to see how she reacts. Now guys, obviously I'm not in jail. I am in the car right now. I just got done getting my hair cut and Janice knows that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive back home. I'm gonna park at like the entrance of our complex, not near our building where she could possibly see me if she looks out the window for whatever reason. But yeah, I'm gonna go park over there by the entrance of our complex. I'm gonna give her a call. I'm gonna call her from a star six seven, which means on her end, it's gonna pop up as like an unknown caller or no caller ID. And then I have like a little audio message I'm gonna be playing and it's gonna sound like it's from jail. Like, oh, you have a collect call from a Passaic County Correctional Facility, that kind of thing. So if you guys are ready for today's video and you guys are ready to see how she reacts to your boy calling from jail make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button down below comment down below as well team isaiah all day every day and let's get into it. i'll see you guys at the uh entrance of our complex all right infinite fans so i just got back to the apartment i'm right at the entrance of our complex i'm gonna go ahead right now call janice i'm gonna play that audio message for you guys while i'm on the phone so you guys can hear it as i'm hearing it too and we're gonna see how all this unfolds comment down below how you think she's gonna react to her boyfriend calling from jail all right guys so again i'm gonna be calling her from a star six seven which means it's gonna end up like on on her end it's gonna say like unknown caller or no caller id something like that so let's see what happens hello Hello, you have a collect call from Passaic County Correctional Facility for Isaiah Rivera. Would you like to accept this call? Yes. Oh my god, no fucking way. Hello? Babe, hello? Babe, what did you do? Babe, I'm at jail right now, bro. I'm over here on some bullshit. They freaking locked me up for no reason. Locked you up for no reason? Why are you in jail? What did you do? Babe, they locked me up for no reason. This morning I told you I went to go get my hair cut, right? So I'm getting my hair cut and I told my barber before he even started, I told him, I was like, yo, don't fade it too high like you did last time. I don't like when my fade is too high. So then I get out of the chair. Listen, listen, I get out of the chair and then I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And I'm like, yo, you did it again. And then we got into an argument and then we started fighting. And then one of the other barbers at the shop, he ended up calling the cops and then they come and they come and lock me up. How the hell? Like, how does that happen? Why, why did you get, like, I don't understand. I'm so freaking confused as to why you would let yourself get to that point of putting your hands on somebody. Babe, I... Seriously? Babe, it's... Babe, it's not just about a haircut. It's not just about a haircut. Like, I told him not to do it, right? And then I bring it up to him. Like, I can... But listen... Babe, listen, I don't have that much time to talk on the phone. Just hear me out. I told him not to do it, and he did it. And then I confront him about it, and then he's going to give me an attitude. So you already know, when you disrespect me, I'm going to disrespect you. And then we just started going back and forth. I don't care what the situation was. Now you are in a predicament. What do I do? Babe, all right, so this is what happens. They told me that they'll release me tonight by 6 o'clock if you get the money. Now, I need you to go to the bank. They said that you need to take out 7500 That's my bail. You have to take out 7500 7500 How am I going to do that? Babe, you go to the bank and just tell them, like, listen, I got to take out the $7,500, and then that's it. They're not going to question you or anything. That's your money. Just Okay. Then, like, you act like we just have freaking, like, really? I have to take out my money to bail babe, you out. I'll you give you the money when you get me out. I'll ju I'll take out the money from my account and I'll give it it's to you. It's not about that. It's just why would you get yourself into this? We have so much going for ourselves right now, and you just literally ruined it. Babe, it's not my fault that my barber doesn't listen to instructions. It is your fault. It's, you should not have started the fight. You initiated it, and I'm pretty sure that you heard him, and that's why you're in jail. You damn right, I heard him. It's my hair we're talking about. Okay, no, that's not okay. What is wrong with you? Babe, that's please. Not that you would do what is wrong with you babe please just take out the money and then come to downtown and please get me out of here i don't like what it in here you me to go to downtown do you know how it is like what the hell i don't understand like why would you get yourself into this situation what am i gonna tell your mom babe don't worry about telling my mom or anyone you don't have I to tell anyone to, i obviously have to tell your mom how am i supposed to get there smart ass you just take a Uber. It's not that far from our house. Listen, listen. By myself. How do I look? How would I look? They're going in an Uber with the mad cash. Obviously, they're not gonna know that you have the cash on you. Just put it in your purse. Where am I gonna put all that money? 
money up my ass. I don't get it. Put it in your purse. They're not. No one's gonna see it. Listen, just hurry you up. Get to downtown. Small purses. You act like that money's gonna fit in my purse. Like, you do you seriously understand the position that you put both of us in? Babe, I'm like I'm here. I need you to come get me, please. It's it's cold in here. They haven't fed me. I'm wearing some janky ass clothes, How and there's no TV. There there's no TV in here. I'm I don't like it in here. Please get me out. Babe, are they are, are they hurting you? Who who's hurting me? No one's hurting me. They're looking at me right now that I'm crazy though. I'm concerned. This is not something that I've ever dealt with in my life. I don't know what to do. One of the officers is looking at me like I'm crazy because of the way I'm talking, but bruh, I don't like it in here. Can you please just get the money and come to downtown? Get me out of here. Okay, I'll figure it out. Dude, when do you need? I need to go now. Like, Babe, I don't understand. You gotta, what? you gotta be here with the money by six o'clock. If not, they're not gonna release me until tomorrow. I don't want to be here overnight. God. Okay, well, I have to rush over there and do. Oh my God. Jail is scary, bro. I don't want to be in jail overnight. There's a lot of people in here that are sus and they're just weird. Don't make me feel worse about this situation. Like, I know. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Let me just try to help you. There's so many people in here that look sus. Like, they're looking at me and they're mad suspicious. Like, I feel like they're going to jump hey, me or don't something. Don't say that. Don't say that in front of them. All right. Well, just hurry up and get here, please. I am. Like, what do I do? do babe, I get the... Just please. Babe. The babe, just get the money. Come to downtown. Tell them that you're looking for me. Give them my name. And then that's it. They'll tell you what to do from there. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. All right. I got to go. I got to go. Good. Bye. I love you. I love you. Bye. See you soon. You. Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Guys. Yo, this is one of my best pranks ever. Ever, I swear, bro. This one. Hold on, I gotta go back to the house. Thank God. See, this is why I came to the entrance here because if she actually tries to leave the house or something, I can actually catch her before she leaves. So, so I'm gonna go drive right now to our building, and I'm gonna make sure that she actually doesn't leave the house, and I'm gonna make sure she's okay. And um, yeah, we're gonna see a reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. oh man babe look i broke out i broke out i fought a, i fought one of the officers i broke out freeze don't tell me <laughs> i see a smile on your face let me see it let me see it i'm so stupid <laughs> let me see your face no let me see your face yo why did you do this to me <laughs> I told you I was going to start unleashing clips on you, bro. I told you the pranks were going to come. I was struggling trying to open the door, especially with those boxes behind. I could not even unlock the door. But I heard the whole conversation. Can you call your mom back and tell her that I'm not actually in jail? No, I literally just hung up on her. Well, you need to call her back and tell her that I'm not in jail. I was like listening to your conversation outside the door, and I'm trying to open the door, and it wasn't working. And then I was like, oh, wait, she took a pause. I know she knows I'm coming in. I turned around and I'm just like, why do I hear like somebody like cause at first he was barking at the door because there was like somebody tapping on the door and I was like, who's tapping? It wasn't you though. Were tapping? You I didn't do no tapping. I don't, I don't know about that one. It was like a little girl. I heard like her running around the hallway tapping on the door because he was barking. Oh, I don't know. That wasn't me. But yo, free Zay, man. I'm out. I'm out here. Say Team Isaiah, baby. Please. Come on, say it. Yo. Blue. Daddy's home. Daddy's free. Straight out the pen. All right, Infinite Fan. So clearly we got her ass. Shout out to me, yo. Free Zay in the comment section. That's all I want to see. Your boy broke out of jail. What else can I say? You really think I'd get into a fight with my barber over a fade? Honestly, I was shocked. That's why I was so upset with you. But like, why would you do that? It's hair. It's so it grows back. Unless he made me look like really stupid. And like, I, all right, now I might fight. But it's hair. It grows back. What? No, you won't. I won't? 
You're not, you shouldn't. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. Time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Haha ha Jokes on You. That's literally the name of the page or the channel on YouTube. Haha ha Jokes on You. Shout out to you. Thank you so much for having your post notifications turned on. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn your post notification bell on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And don't end up in jail. We'll see you guys in the next video.